take dose. I have Virgo rising and a Virgo moon. My sun and Venus and Aquarius are in the sixth house, the house of Virgo. I am my own worst critic. I created this collage today while listening to one of my cheesiest playlists at YouTube. Check out the transits. When I say transits, I'm talking about astrology, uh, Western astrology. Astrotheme.com Okay, so we've got Sun at 27 degrees Taurus. That is conjunct my MC at 29 Taurus. Square my Sun at 29 Aquarius. Moon at 1 Cancer. That's opposite my Mars at 4 Capricorn. Mercury, 7 Taurus. That trines my Moon at 6 Virgo. Venus, 28 Gemini, that trines my Sun at 29 Aquarius. Mars, 0 Aquarius, that trines my Pluto at 3 Libra. Jupiter, 17 Retrograde Scorpio, that trines my South Node at 16 Cancer. Saturn, 8 Retrograde Capricorn, that's conjunct my Mars at 4 Capricorn. And my Vertex and North Node at 16 Capricorn, the 5th house. Um... Uranus, zero Taurus. This is a big deal transit, y'all. This is going to shake shit up. It's a big transit for me because uh, Uranus, Uranus at zero degrees Taurus um, trines my ascendant at two Virgo and my moon at six Virgo and my Mars at four Capricorn. And it's my ninth house. The house of expansion, adventure. Ninth house is the house of Sagittarius. So Neptune, 16 Pisces, that's conjunct my Mercury at 14 Pisces in the seventh house. Pluto, 21 retrograde Capricorn, that's leaving my uh, vertex and north node coming up on my Jupiter at 26 Capricorn in the fifth. Chiron, one Aries. Um, I have a lot of Aries in my progress chart, but natally, uh, Chiron at 1 Aries, that squares my Mars at 4 Capricorn. That's my 8th house. Aries is my 8th house. North node, 8 degrees retrograde Leo. That opposes my Venus at 16 Aquarius. True Lilith, 29 retrograde Sagittarius. Um, that sextiles my Sun at 29 Aquarius. So... And it sextiles my Uranus at 22, Libra. The new moon in Taurus was powerful. I felt the energy. Um, I did some powerful work at my altar. And I had this epiphany yesterday regarding the Taro, and I wrote it down in my Book of Shadows. So I'll read my epiphany. You cannot rush, control, manipulate the cups. The cups are mutable. The cups are water. The cups are divine love. The cups are Pisces. Enjoy the flow. Go with it. Submit to it. Do not attempt to force your will on the cups. You will certainly fail. Reserve your cardinal energy for the pentacles. Work on your foundation. The foundation is not glamorous, fun, sexy, but a solid foundation is necessary. The pentacles are all business, no nonsense. The pentacles are earth. The pentacles are investment. The pentacles are Capricorn. Use your dick on the world. Claim your terra firma. This is the place to shine your sweat. Chupacabra disco your blood. Bullshit rodeo your tears. Be fixed exactly who you are with the wands, creativity, and swords ideals. Do not veer from your optimal course. Carve your priorities in smirking stone. 
This is where you will locate your Academy Award, your microphone, your testimony, your books, your collages. Rock your shine, baby doll. Let no motherfucker dim your glow. Show the world who's boss. You're the trail boss. Own it without apology. And below that, I have a quote from Mr. Campbell. My boo. In meditating, meditate on your own divinity. The goal of life is to be a vehicle for something higher. Keep your eye up there between the pairs of opposites watching your play in the world. Let the world be as it is and learn to rock with the waves. Remain radiant, as Joyce put it, in the filth of the world. A fucking men. I drew three cards today at my altar. I drew King of Wands, Five of Swords, and Queen of Cups. I did a shuffle in my first take, and I got the Queen of Cups. So, regarding my epiphany, regarding me, my life, I was drinking the smoothie. The first take. It's gone now. It's filtered water, uh, fresh strawberries, frozen spinach, and an organic banana that's almost ripe. It was not a party for my tongue. But the Kenny body season is upon us. Regarding my own life, I don't have Aries in my natal chart, but I have a first house moon, and it trines my. Mars at 4 Capricorn on the 5th. That's my fire. Uh, Mars is the ruler of Aries. But in my progress chart, I have Moon, Sun, and Venus in Aries, and I have Libra rising, so it's a very cardinal chart. But in love, I've always been impatient. Motherfucker, pick up the pace. I'm in love with you. You should be in love with me by now. Let's do this already. I kind of bullied my two husbands into marrying me. I was gunning for it. I wanted status quo. I wanted to get married. I wanted to have kids. I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom and wife. I'm glad I got that all out of my system. And now I'm 45. And the only way I will ever get married again is if I exchange vows with a man with tears of joy in my eyes. I have to really be in love. It has to be spiritual. It has to be divine. Divine union. Um, every relationship that I've been in, you know, I've taken some treasure from every man I've done any kind of time with. But I've never had the optimal, the ideal my ideal vision of love with the man. And so right now, I'm realizing that I can't do what I did in my 20s or even 30s. I can't beguile a man into falling in love with me. I can't manipulate. I can't be devious. I can't be strategic. I can't um, rush it. I can't have it the way I want it. All the energy that I've always put into love, into getting a man, into the whole seduction thing, I have to put into the pentacles, acquiring material, uh, laying my foundation and acquiring terra firma. I want to buy real estate, maybe some land, you know, a house, um, decent vehicle. I want to travel. I want to provide for myself and my son. I want to be financially independent, and then beyond that, I would like to be wealthy at some point. So, all the energy that I put into love and seduction in the past, I'm putting that energy into getting my shit together finally at 45 and making a very good, solid life for myself and my son. And the swords are ideals, principles. And I've compromised those before for love. And I think I'm done with that. 
quite. Wands, creativity, I'll always create. I create in my sleep. There are a couple of novels that I want to write this year, and there are a couple of poetry collections that I want to put together this year. So right now I'm doing basic stuff. I'm adhering to a mostly raw vegan diet. Um, I'm still getting over a cold, but I'm going to hit it full force when I'm completely recovered. I'm going to start doing intense workouts. And I'm doing meditation and just self-love, self-care. People deride it and say it's flaky to meditate or uh, do self-care, but for me it's necessary. I've been through some shit, I've been through some toxic stuff, and I have to be able to breathe in and out and tell myself, I love myself. Look into the mirror and say, I love myself, and take bubble baths by candlelight. I need that. So what else is I going to say? I don't know. In the first take, I was just reading a bunch of passages from Joseph Campbell. I'll do a I'll do a new shuffle. I'll do one card. I've been eating a lot of peanut butter lately. What I do is um, I put crunchy organic peanut butter in a saucepan on the stove with uh, coconut oil. And I pour it into cupcake liners in a muffin tin. <clears throat> and sometimes I add sesame seeds. Not sesame seeds. Sunflower seeds. And then I top it with um, dark chocolate chips that I melt on the stove. And then I put it in the fridge. They're so fucking good. I don't really enjoy the smoothies, but that's the only way I'm going to get spinach in my body. I mean, I'm going to start eating salads again at some point. But that's the easiest way for me to ingest spinach is in a smoothie. Okay. Four of coins. That's a boring ass card. And I've pulled it before and I've already I've forgotten what it means. It's a good card. It's not bad. It's just boring. Four of coins. As if by magic, this is a card of wealth, or at least a windfall, but be suspicious of materialism. Monetary gain at the expense of others may lead to emotional bankruptcy, and inheritance often involves the loss of a loved one. Greed or short-sightedness may mean a loss of all gain. So take care not to lose sight of that which is truly important. Word. So yeah, if I have any spiritual advice to impart to anyone who's hungry or in despair or curious, it's very simple. Take care of yourself, pimp your own ride. You're not here, none of us are here to audition for a motherfucker, unless you're an actress or an actor. We aren't here to convince someone to be in love with us. We aren't here to convince someone that fucking us, fucking us is a good way to spend their time. Um, we're here to pimp our own ride and bask in our own glory. 
because people can see if we're basking our basking in our own glory, people can see that and they can sense that it is well with our souls that we're okay with who we are and they're idiots not to come along and join the joy ride. So don't waste your breath. Don't waste your energy on people who just don't get it. You're a fucking god. <laughs>